Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to December's general monthly reading for Leo 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. Okay, and for my new viewers, this is my newly available book, My Life Journey and True Ancient Astrology. And I'm having a special this month for gifts. If that sounds right for any of you who would like to purchase this for friends or family and have me gift wrap and ship them out for you, I can absolutely do that. Send me an email at thecreativewoman369 at gmail.com. And I am also now um, accepting private bookings. So if you would like a list, send me an email at thecreativewoman369 at gmail.com. All right, Leo. First off, let's take a look at the transits going on this month. We have the full moon that will be in Gemini 16 degrees on the 7th or the 8th of December, depending on where you are in the world. And on those two same days, we're also going to have transiting Mars in an, an exact conjunction to this new moon in Gemini, 16 degrees as well. So that's a big deal. And also we're going to have uh, Neptune is going to square uh, the new moon and this Mars conjunction because Neptune is in Pisces, 22 degrees. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Having trouble getting it out. I don't know what's going on. All right. So that's a big deal too. Square, all squares, conjunctions, and oppositions are the most difficult. We also have, still continuing, uh, transiting Taurus North Node, conjunct transiting Uranus in Taurus. It's a close conjunction along with Saturn in Aquarius, that is a close square still going on. And that is another major thing. And that's going to be happening. The Saturn squaring Uranus will be happening all month long. And it's pretty close square degrees between five to seven degrees. Pluto is still in Capricorn. It begins the month at 26 degrees then ends with at 27 degrees. The new moon will be on the 23rd in Capricorn, one degree. And then last but not least, we have Jupiter that will be moving from Pisces into Aries. And when it does that on the 20th, it will uh, make a conjunction to transiting Chiron. Chiron is an asteroid that is called the wounded healer. That is where we are all wounded and then healed. Once you know consciously, of course, what that wounding is and having to do with your specific natal Chiron placement, zodiac sign and house placement. Anyway, so it is conjunct or it will be conjunct on the 20th, beginning the 20th, because Chiron, transiting Chiron is now in Aries and it's 12 degrees. Again, another big one. Okay, so that is are the updates. Let's get into your reading, Leo, and see what is happening for you this month. What do you need to know? And like I always like to say, if this reading is not correct for you, that is perfectly all right because your natal planets and the transiting planets are always going to be unique and individual for each one of you. 
So you might want to try your moon, your rising or your north or south nodes of the moon. Okay, so Leos. What do my Leo the Lions need to know this month? You are the courageous sign I'm getting. That is correct, but I'm being called to say that. And I'm being called to say that something might, for some of you, take that courage for you to be able to face this month. I don't know what that means. That is a specific message wanting to come through, so I am just relaying the message. Okay, so for Leo, sun rising, north or south nodes of the moon. Someone or some of you also I am getting there is a message trying to come through to you specifically, so I'm getting the word listen, listen, listen this month. Listen to your inner voice, listen when you are in that calm space and you are relaxed. Listen, open your ears and listen is what I got. You will know if that's right for you and when it happens. Because again, it's going to be different for all of you. And again, it's not necessarily for all of you. That could be for one person. I really don't know. Okay, so what? For Leo's, okay. Fifth house. Leo, that's your natural house is the fifth house. So, and the fifth house has to do with true love, children, and your creativity, and also fun and enjoyment. And on this card, it says passion. And it's number 43, and that breaks down into a seven. So that could be specific special numbers for some of you. Your creative juices are going to flow this month, I'm getting. That's the first thing that I'm getting. I was drawn to this box. It's a little desk and the drawer is open and there are a bunch of paint brushes and different things here on and, and also a, uh, um, a stencil and a, what do you call that when you, what you paint on the canvas? Beautiful flowers, big flowers. So something is flourishing in your life. Something is has is is or has, I just got coming to fruition for you with these big flowers here. And I'm getting colorful delight. I don't know what that means, but I also just got something's coming into full color for you. You're going to see something very clear this month. It's coming into focus is what I got as well. Okay. All right. So let's. I also just got stop and smell the roses. That saying so take your time, relax, enjoy yourself, enjoy every moment. Just the little things too. Enjoy the little things in life, especially this month. That'll help relax you. I'm getting for some of you. Maybe you need to hear that. Maybe that is just confirmation. Maybe you're already doing that. So again, that would be confirmation for you. Okay, so let's... See what else? And something you're you you are very passionate about. That was my fault. Something you are very passionate about will be making itself known this month. If you don't already know. And Leo's, you're a fire sign anyway, and so 
you you are very passionate you are very again courageous and you are very um active when your passion is ignited and that's what i'm getting especially those of you if you've been feeling a little dull and and things aren't moving or you just where your spark is has been um dimmed where your spark has been dimmed this month is coming back to life you will be coming back to life ah and what what did i just say and then you have the card return your spark is returning this month your passion for life for something specific for you again it's going to be different it's num this is number 17 and that breaks down into an eight so a new door, this is a, here's a big door. You have a new opportunity opening up to you. And you're going to be excited to walk through it. I just got as well. And it's going to be shining, shining light, shining brightness, shining that adventurous, um, passionate energy and infusing you with that energy again. So you you come back to life. You will draw to that light. It's going to light you up. You're inside and your, your secret drive, your secret desires. That is, that's very exciting. That's very exciting. A lot of purples I'm getting too. So this could be definitely your spiritual mission or something having to do with your um, spiritual passion or opening you up to spirituality, the unseen realm, the deeper, deeper parts of yourself, even creative parts of yourself that you didn't even know existed inside you. It is ready to burst out or it will be, it, it will be, be beginning to do this this month. Wow. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay. Again, purples and flowers, greenery. I was drawn to this dog too. Also, dogs are just, they're just, they're just there. They love you. They're very loyal. And so, and, and just love you no matter what. And so what I'm getting from that is, Whatever this new opportunity is opening up to you, it is going to be a long lasting and it's going to be very, very good for you and concrete and, and secure, secure, especially if you're not secure right now, it is going to definitely increase your security or make you where you are finally can be secure. All right, so someone could be doing a lot of speaking this month. I was drawn to the blue door. It has to do with your throat chakra. And so you could be doing a lot of communicating, a lot of verbal communicating, a lot of even writing. Maybe you're writing a book I just got. Uh, writing a, some type of writing writing up a contract I just got for someone too. Maybe you'll be signing a contract, you're writing a contract, you're gonna be um, in cooperation with someone else or a group and that is possible. Okay, so let's see. Well, let's get into the tarot and see what comes up there for you. Okay, for Leos. But again, I'm just being drawn to the light. So, a, which, and the shining light on this return card, something in your life is going to be lit up. It's some area of your life that has been dull, that has been non existent, I just got, or stagnant, or at a, at a standstill, is now going to, to be lit up. giving you new life again. It 
just keep saying the same thing. So maybe some of you that really needs to, you need to hear that. Yeah, see some of you've really had a tough time. This is the five of pentacles. And so pentacles have to do with, with physical reality and, and things and money and, and you've been really having a tough time really with the snow and you're going, these two people are going through a blizzard and they've really been lacking in some area that is now going to be a new doors opening. So you're leaving that five of pentacles time for yourself. So that is very good. That is very good. And again, it has something to do with your creative, your creativity, your creative juices will be flowing again in full force. I just got that is beautiful. Again, taking you out of this lack, whatever lack you type of lack you've been feeling. Lack of motivation, I just got too, for some of you, absolutely. No more, no more. You're going to have a new lease on life, Leos. Okay, yes, look at that. Okay, the two of wands, there you go. New lease on life, and then this popped out. I just see that again. New lease on life. And this man, he is holding the world in his hand, and he's looking out. He's above, looking out on the land, so to me, that's also, he has a new perspective. He can see the distance where maybe you couldn't see, you couldn't see something before. You couldn't see anything. You couldn't get out of or see anything but this lack and you were stuck. The snow, heavy snow, not anymore. This is going to give you a new lease on life, a new uh, perspective and you are going to be able to see clearly and see that road ahead of you and see see and be secure. Wands again has to do with passion. Wands has to do with with your sign Leo, Aries and Sagittarius. And here's wands again. Here's wands again, and this is the three of wands. Yes, okay, so whatever you've been working through, it's been a step-by-step -step process for you with the two and then the three of wands coming up. First, the five of pentacles, so really in the dark and lacking, and now you're coming out of it. And maybe you've either already started coming out of it or... If you haven't yet, you're going to this month, and it's going to be rather um, sequential, yes, one, two, three, but rather quickly is what I'm getting. There's not going to be, it's going to be boom, boom, a steady, not a steady flow, not surprisingly fast, but a steady flow is what I'm seeing. And again, the new buds, the new leaves on both of these wands, cards, are telling me it's a new direction for you. It is a brand new start. And again, that you are going to be secure. You are going to be secure. The reason I say that is because both of these cards have these gentlemen in red capes. Red has to do with your root chakra, which has to do with your base security. So your foundation so you are laying a strong foundation for yourself that will stand the test of time. Like the dog. Loyal. Long time. That is so good. Uh, I just got two when I was looking at the three of wands. You're going to, you're, you are going to get a break. I'm not sure what that means, but those of you that that is meant for, you will definitely know. And that could be a, a, a surprise, a very welcome surprise, of course. After, look at this, Ten of Swords. So you've been under a lot of mental pressure, a lot of um, stress, 
in your in your thinking maybe about whatever this lacking how are you going to get out of this how are you going to deal with this what you have bills coming or you have this or that and you can't haven't been able to see your way clear of how it's going to happen well you're going to put to death that type of thinking and mental stress mental yes anguish anguish extreme anguish also because having to do with you've completed a cycle and so now if the lacking was in this last cycle which a lot of you i can see it was whether it's however long or short the cycle has been you're coming out of that now you have completed whatever you needed to complete and you are going to be clear of all of that and you'll be able to have a good night's sleep i just got two meals so that's good okay so what else for leos you know what i am being drawn to go ahead and let's get some clarifiers i'm going to use a different deck is what i am going to do let's do that okay so okay all right okay so let's start with this five of pentacles let's get some more details please for leo about what this lacking has been what has been this hard time they are now leaving this month what's been going on what or how is that changing can I get some specific, please, some more details for some of you, or for some of my Leos, at least, if not all. And maybe did one of you get injured? I was drawn to this person here. He's walking on a crutch, or he's has crutches because he, he hurt his foot, he hurt his leg. So I just got the sense that someone got injured maybe hurt on the job and so that's why you of course you had to stay home and allow whatever if it was your leg your ankle or, or whatever that was to heal i even got your heart somebody somebody's heart did you have a heart attack i'm so sorry i'm so sorry if that's the case or any injury but it seems to me and the heart would be if that is true or whoever that is, it's, it feels like it came from all the stress and mental anguish of the situation. And then the injury, back to the injury, being injured on a job, this is another message, that would be why, because you've been out of work, and so, and for whatever reason, your work didn't pay for it, um, or maybe you're going through a lawsuit, I'm getting too somebody's suing possibly um, again that's another message maybe but in any case that is coming to an end so if it's a lawsuit if it's a case you you're gonna win the case if it's something else you're healing and you get to go back to work and or whatever maybe maybe okay I just got the injury, there was a reason for this injury. For those of you who, okay, I'm getting a lot of messages. All right. I'm also getting someone lost their job. So that's another, that's a separate message. Lost your job or someone else being injured on the job. But what I am getting for those of you that that pertains to, is that it was a blessing in disguise because it got you to stop, to, you had to, you had to sit still for a little while to allow this new opportunity to come into your life. You never would have sought it out. You never would have opened your mind. You never would have, whatever you have done because of this lacking, it has enabled something new 
to be able to be born this month for you. That is way better for you. And yes, you had to go through this. You had to go through this lacking because it was this lacking experience, this even traumatic experience that enabled you to put your mind or open your mind for new, new directions, new paths, um, to something new, to take care of something too. Because maybe some of you, you weren't. You were too busy. You were busying yourself. And so whatever needed to, to I'm getting karmically be taken care of, then it, it forced you, it forced you, literally forced you to take care of it, whatever that is. That's what I'm getting, Leo. Wow. And yes, that's a big deal. And no, it is not fun. But you can be thankful now. Absolutely. And you will be. Because you will see, if you don't see already, what I'm talking about, you will see. It will become clear this month. Because whatever you were, you were taken from, it was actually draining you. It was actually... Um, you were spinning your wheels and your passion was gone. That for some of you is where your passion went. That is where your fire got um, dimmed or even went out. But you didn't know how to get out of it. You didn't know how. And you might not even have been aware for some of you that that was what was happening. But I'm getting the idea that a lot of you knew. A lot of you knew. That whatever you were you were doing and then it abruptly ended and put you in this situation it wasn't something it was something that some of you even wanted to get out of and you were even secretly asking the universe asking your higher self or whoever you believe or see that to be and that's this is why this is why that happened Wow you weren't expecting that. Of course, you didn't want that. But that was necessary. Again, that was necessary. But now you're through it. And look at this, the moon. Okay, several came out. Let me... That's very beautiful. Okay, so the moon. Some of you, this could be happening. Either this happened on last month. I'm getting the full moon or the new moon. No, November. Today's the November 30th when I'm taping. Or... It's going to happen on this full moon with the Gemini 16 degrees and conjunct Mars, exact conjunction, and then squaring at Neptune. So this might not have happened yet for some of you. And for others, if it's already happened, then this next full moon could be where if you haven't already received that new opportunity, that for yourself, watch for it. Okay, wait, I'm gonna put that under here. That's what I was doing, huh? Okay, so that one went under there, so let me put, okay, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so the full moon, or the moon, a full moon, see I said full moon, okay, so some of you, or maybe even a lot of you, it has to do with the full moon. And you could be feeling it now, Energies don't just stop and start. So the actual date of the full moon will be the 7th or 8th. So in 7 or 8 days, but you could definitely be feeling it now. You could be feeling it through the whole month for some of you. It's going to be different for all of you. Okay, so, and you could have been feeling it several days before now as well. So, yes. So the moon, it, but it's going to stabilize you. You're going to be very stable and happy. And I'm also seeing this as the sun. The sun is coming out. It, it's going to shine upon you now. You're going to be stable with those two pillars right there. And actually some of you, I'm getting the, the dog and the fox are just in awe looking up. You're going to be in awe. You, you're going to say, how, how did this happen? Oh my gosh. Okay. You're going to see everything. It's going to be clear to you why everything happened, what I was just saying, and so it's going to be a great confirmation for you. 
Empress, okay, under the Two of Wands, yes. You're going to be in balance. If this isn't you already, this is where you're headed, in balance with yourself, uh, just at peace with yourself and very loving and loving all of life, loving life again. There's your passion back and love for life right there, the Empress. You're lit up again and see the yellow bright. You're lit up. Your whole energy system is lit up again. You're feeling like your old self I just got for some of you, which for some of you I just got too. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. Okay, and then under the three of wands, the Hierophant. You've gained wisdom. You've gained knowledge. You are, I just got more prepared now. And you're, you are even more secure now. You actually now have a solid foundation, base foundation to work from so that you can grow and expand that and make it last for legacies, for decades, for throughout your ancestry, not just you. So this is a big deal. And again, look at that. Pillars, again. So you're sturdy. You, it's a strong foundation for yourself. And you just, now you're going to be able to continue to build upon that strong base foundation, finally, because it won't fall again because you've learned that lesson. You've become wiser through that experience. And you have your passion. I, I'm just getting to that. You realize now, some of you at least, realize that if you're not passionate about it, then it when if and when that passion with your new, whatever new opportunity is coming your way, if and when that passion ever decreases in you, you don't stay in it. You now know that you either you do whatever it takes to whether it's whatever that means so that you continue to thrive and have that fire, passionate, burning with inside you, desire, drive, aliveness to continue whatever that creative adventure is for you. And now you have learned that is what I'm getting. You have learned that or you will have learned that. And so you will never, ever again be in a situation that, that where your fire, where you allow your passion to be stifled or to be put out is what I'm getting, put out. I'm physically seeing somebody putting water on a fire and then it's sizzling, it coals and it's just steaming. You're not ever going to allow that to happen again because that is your life force. That is who you are. That is necessary for you to live, to truly live. And you're going to love it. And you love yourself and you love life. And again, this is where you choose to be from now on. Keep those those personal, passionate fires burning with inside you, those creative fifth house passions. And also you, by having to go through this, you have been learning how to do that. How to protect yourself, so to speak. How to um, keep your energy you and build your own fire within yourself. And, and what is good for you, what is not good for you, basically. There you go. Wow. That's beautiful. Okay. All right. Let me see if there's anything else. Let's see what time it is. It's getting... Very, very beautiful. Okay, so I guess I 
don't have any messages. Again, I'll return. I was drawn to the numbers 17, uh, 1 plus 7 equals 8. 8 is one of the days, depending on where you live, the full moon. So again, that's just another sign or synchronicity telling me for some of you, watch out for this full moon time now or even a couple days before now through four or five days after or the whole month, maybe next even into two or two the next full moon next month for some of you. All right. Well, Leos. Oh, that's awesome. I am so, so excited for you and happy for you to get that courage and that passion and that drive back, that fire within you that is outstanding. I'd love to hear from you if you would love to share anything with me. So, but that is all I have for you this month. Until next time, bye.